Hello everyone, welcome back to the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers by my birthday, which is the end of August. So we only got a couple weeks. So help a girl out, hit the subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Also make sure and hit the bell so you are notified every single time I put out one of these videos. I do these Halloween decor hunting videos every single week. I also do other types of videos every single Monday. So make sure you hit the bell so you are in the know of when things come out. Also give this video a like, I would greatly appreciate it. So if you notice everyone, I am back in my car. Yay! <laughs> um, so I am nearly finished with my antibiotics. The infection is pretty much gone. So I am very excited. I'm feeling so much better. I'm, I'm happy to be out. Um, if you also notice, I am wearing no makeup. I am a glistening mess today because it is already almost 90 degrees and it's only 1030. I've already gotten out. I've gone to TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So I'm just going to roll some video, do a voiceover, show you what I saw there, and I'll meet you back here. First, all right, you know, the little ink cap I always see, there's none of the small pillows left. So it's a lot of more of these little trinkets, um, some of these like fun skull candles. I, I'm really excited. We'll see throughout um, the couple days here. There's a lot more like darker aesthetic on some of these things. Like these, yeah, those black skulls you see in there, the little stack of skulls. I'm, I'm really impressed by, you know, so it's not necessarily what I want to put out, but it's kind of cool to see different styles and not just the same thing. Um, so yeah, a couple different things there. Um, we have more of our, our pretty witchy ladies. I will say this one in the silver, um, I really like her. Honestly, <laughs> if she's here at the end of the season, I might get her because she's just a spooky goth witch lady with a crystal ball and I am about it. Um, so super super cute a couple other different ones then we had some really tall ones if you're needing something maybe near your mantle i don't know could be a cute look some of these really tall signs we've been seeing lots of little like woodwork stuff more of the skeleton bowls that kind of things all the skeleton hands and the skeleton creatures holding different things so stuff we've seen past year, so nothing super new, but if it's something you missed out on, well, it is back for you. Um, we did see another, I really like this sign. I wish it didn't say, oh, there's will be toad. If it didn't, wasn't a pun, that would be really cool. I don't think I would pay um, what it costs, but uh, it's a cute design. I really liked this spider web, like platter bowl thing um it's maybe a little too fancy for my house i feel like it would get broken but it's beautiful not many of the plates left so i guess man people are buying stuff y'all people are buying it a lot of little ceramics this ghost apron was adorable i already have one so i didn't need it but i think for all my my ghost friends um well, people who love ghosts. <laughs> Maybe my ghost friends too. Who knows? <laughs> I think it's a really cute look. Um, some more table runners. That orange one with the black bats I got last year. You'll see that during my decorate with me, but it's super cute. More of our little towels. This one with the little witch on the front. <laughs> that is a vibe, y'all. Some days I'm extra witchy. Yes, I am. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, these were some mantle scarves. I'd never seen anything quite like this. This ghost one is absolutely adorable. So I feel like this year, like the, the theme is like ghosts. So if that's one of your like decorating things, definitely look out for this. It was like $25, which is a little expensive, but they're embroidered. So I think they're, you know, nice detailing and nice for maybe what you're getting. I just, I don't know if I could justify $25. We have a bunch of our pillows still pretty decent stock on a lot, a lot of those um this blue one up here with the silhouettes i really like that it's super cute ouija a lot of the little gnome creatures ray dunn stuff 
Um, and then I went over to um, TJ Maxx and they had a bunch of different baking supplies. So there's like a lot of different designs of cupcake holders. I thought these are really cool, especially if you're going to do a party or something maybe. Um, these are, you know, some fun ones to look at, especially if you want to use something special. Or even if you're going to make a batch of like muffins for your family, these would be cute little holders for it. Um, then we get over to the pillows, um, the gnomes, these skull and white ones were so fuzzy. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. I love them. These black velvet ones with the skull stitching. I absolutely love it. I've been looking for some skull pillows, um, but they can, I don't know. I don't normally like a lot of designs. This one for $25 for two of them. And they're a really good size. Um, yes, I did. I did get those. <laughs> I absolutely love them. They were so beautiful. And I don't, I don't feel like you see enough like darker aesthetic pillows like that that aren't specifically Halloween. All right, more of our little like dishware, all that kind of stuff. They had some like fun, you know, party cups if you're looking to do that. Um, our little skeleton doing some yoga, you know, um, those little ghost soap holders, a little Snoopy. Uh, soap thing this jack is like a tabletop blow up jack i i've not seen it like a tabletop blow up so it's kind of interesting there's the soap holder price if you're or the you know little rag price mm. <laughs> rag holder if that's what you're looking for um i love this ghost tray but i didn't know what i would use it for so i passed on it but it's really cute Okay, some cool stuff. I'm super excited about those pillows especially. And I don't know if I showed it, but um, there were some sheets as well. If not, I'll try and insert some footage here showing um, at least the sheet set that I found slash procured. It's really cute. I'm not a big Ray Dunn fan, but I couldn't pass up skeletons and a black cat. And it says spooky, and they're actually decently soft for the price. I'm pleased with it. <sighs> I also just finished up with Bath and Body Works. Uh, you can't see. Um, it's right next to me. And um, I will insert some footage here. I went in for their candle sale. Like I told you guys um, this past video. It's $12.95 which isn't like amazing. But it's better than the BOGO price. So I figured. Or it's actually probably about BOGO price. But um, I wanted to get some backups of the ones I really like. So I got a couple of those. I will also show you footage I saw. Um, there was the skeleton, or yeah, skeleton face candle holders, or the skull candle holders. Those are really cute. There's the, um, little wallflower projector that's like the candelabra, and it projects, I think it says Happy Halloween. Um, that one's fun, but it's also $32, and I got the haunted house one, and I kind of like that a little bit better, so... But it's cute if that's your style for sure go for it um for me i like to use mine year round and i just didn't want it to say happy halloween year round but still a cute design nonetheless so yeah what i'm gonna do now actually everyone say hi to oliver oliver say hello to all the beautiful people hello my beautiful people it's good to be back yes beautiful people <laughs> all right so what am i do now um i'm gonna go to at home because i want to catch up it's been two weeks since i've been to one and who knows what's there now so um i want to go and check that out let's just head to at home and see what's new also i just realized my nose ring was spun around so that whole intro was uh oh my gosh just fix this the whole intro was uh, real purdy. Look what you signed up for, my friends. Look. Look. <laughs> oh my god. Back to it. <laughs> Alright, friends. So, full transparency. I did use clips from two different times at, at home. So, sometimes you'll see me with males and sometimes you will not. So, there you go. Uh, we start off with there's a couple of different garden stakes. It's eyeballs. Um, there, there, look, you know, um, some different woven placemats. We've seen these in orange and now they have them in purple. Um, it's a little skeleton skull face placemats, cat pillow. Uh, it's, that would be cute for a kid's room. Honestly, I'm feeling it for that. Um, it's more a little stemless wine glasses, a couple different varieties, all new, like mummy 
type dishware. So they have some cups. They also had canisters, little tombstones. Um, I would These aren't really my kind of decoration, but for $2.99, these suckers were heavy. I was really impressed by that. So I think they would be cute, especially for decorating like a spooky town or like a kid's little shelf. Um, definitely, you know, definitely a, an idea. Um, some more of a different garden stakes. <laughs> you can make a really weird looking yard. I would kind of be down with it. I want to see somebody use the eyeballs. <laughs> um, a little ghost pumpkin that lights up. It's $25. But yeah, it's a very different design. Um, we have these stacked ghosts with the little back cutouts. Um, they, it does light up. This is cute. I just wish it wasn't the whole hear no evil, see no evil. I don't know what the third one is um but yeah uh yeah <laughs> there is all these platters a jack-o'-lantern one another uh, continuing the mummy design this big cat i think it's meant to be like a candy bowl or something i'm not sure but it's absolutely adorable um i really want it i don't know how i would use it in decoration but it's super cute and we get to some of these like outdoor gates those are interesting. A lot of the different stakes, um, more like fall ones. They have a couple of Halloween ones, but I feel like a lot of these you see kind of every year. But again, if it's something you missed out on, I totally have it. So these were the pillows I was originally thinking about getting, but then I saw the other ones at TJ Maxx and they were cheaper and actually nicer velvet. Um, these I think were for one pillow was I'm pretty sure like $19.99. Yeah. And I got two for 24 at uh, Marshall's. So, I mean, it's beautiful. It's just, man, $20 for one throw pillow. Um, same here with the spider ones. I mean, again, they're beautiful, but just, good Lord. And they had these uh, black velvet with the, the shiny gold, like very royal kind of style. This one was only 15 so it's a little bit better. This outdoor mat was really interesting. It's, you know, very thick, but it, it lights up and makes noise. I wonder if it's like when you stand on it, it, um, you know, happens to light up and, I don't know, make sound. I'd be really intrigued to see, like, I wish they had it out so you could test one because I think that it's, it's different. You don't see ones like that super often. It makes me feel like a spirit Halloween kind of thing. <laughs> um, here's some of these, uh, like, blow mold kind of jack-o'-lanterns. The ones with the spiky teeth. Oh my gosh, you all. I have been really wanting some of the like the angry looking ones, not the like cutesy smiley ones. So I was really happy to find a couple of those. Um, and they're battery operated, so I can just easily throw them on my mantle. This witch hat on top of books is really beautiful. And I mean, it, this sucker was heavy too. Um, but it was also uh, quite expensive, like $35. But, I mean, if it's a feature piece, um, these, like, candlestick things. I've seen people do these with, um, oh, gosh, what's the, the pool noodles. So, you could maybe DIY this, and it would be way less than $50. Um, here's our little decaying witch. Man, I just say, I really loved her. I just wish it wasn't glitter. I wanted her to be a matte style, like a very, like, gnarly rooted kind of matte but the glitter just kind of killed it for me and it was also $70 so even if it was matte I don't know that I could have afforded her but she's beautiful maybe one year they'll come out with a, a matte version of her some more pillows these are like little scaly pumpkins I love the color of this I'm not really big on the scales but um it's beautiful very like naturey super cool some more like different tabletop as well as wall signs. Quite a few different varieties of that. Oh, this big potion bottle was kind of cool. Um, it feels, I don't know, it was an interesting design. You don't see the bigger ones like that very much. This gold school, gold school, gold skull was like so gold. And like for what it was, it was way too expensive for how light that skull was. I, I couldn't understand why it was so expensive. Um, there's a So here's the skull version of the pumpkin. Like we saw the, go the ghost earlier. Um, it was It's definitely glittery, so be mindful. <laughs> um, they had a pretty decent sock of, of dishes. Here's a silver kind of dishware of the skull head. I think this one said bowl, but I'm pretty sure it's like a utensil holder. 
and then a cup. <laughs> so sweaty. All right, awesome things there. Also, if you are someone who is a uh, like late summer slash fall baby, like birthday wise, <laughs> make sure to sign up for their um, I don't know, at home perks program or whatever. Um, it's like a rewards program, but for your birthday, they will send you or email you a 15% off total purchase coupon. So that's what I use today. Um, I only got a couple things. I got some string lights and um, they had a few small like um, battery operated jack-o'-lanterns that actually had like the spiky teeth. So I was excited to see those. But I also got a couple things for the garden because they had all their garden stuff on clearance. Well, not all, they had a lot of it and I got a really pretty gazing ball. But anyway, I was able to use my coupon for that. So definitely make sure and do that. Um, if you're someone who shops at home a lot or even if you just do this time of year, definitely uh, sign up for that so you get the coupon. Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry about how I ended the video for yesterday or ended my little clip for yesterday. Um, yeah, I mean, look at Oliver. He just, he was distraught. Like, it was too hot, guys. Like, my brain. Yeah, I, I just, I was leaving there. I was, like, sweating my body off. Like, it was just gone. And I took the mask off, and it was just, ugh. Anyway, <laughs> my brain just stopped, and I was just like, primary, primary motive, get home into my AC. <laughs> because I just couldn't anymore. So, I'm sorry about that. But, today um starting off early it's already at 85 but i'm trying to get at least a few places before rain hits and whatnot so for today's goal i'm headed to joanne's michael's marshall's maybe big lots i've seen it shows like there's gonna be a little bit in my store i'm just trying to wait i don't want to go there and there'll be like five things because i'd love to like show you more than that and also make it worth the trip um so i'll make the decision after i've gone to the other three I'll see how I'm feeling, how the weather is, and we'll decide whether or not to, to go today, or maybe hold that off till another day. But yes, I'll see you at Joanne's. <laughs> oh, also, you can see, I'm wearing my hair in like little space buns today, um, because it is a million degrees, and I did not want my hair anywhere near my face or my body. Well, it's on my head, but you know what I mean, so. Cute space buns. <laughs> All right, see you at Joanne's. All right, friends, so, man, Joanne stuff is selling. There's stuff that I saw a couple weeks ago, like, a lot of those signs. So many of them are gone. They only have a small selection now. I didn't get any video of the stuff we've already seen before. Um, but the first thing I saw, a couple new things. I can't remember what it was. I remember this one aisle, so I'll show some video of that. Um, I do know I saw this um, one, like, massive ghost. It had to have been, like, a foot and a half tall. But it was also, like, $60. Ugh. And it, the, when you light it up, it was like super flashy. Like, I, I didn't really like that, to be honest. Um, and then there was also like this tiered stand that um, was black metal. And then the plates were white. One, I think, had like a cat on it. The other one, maybe it was like the pumpkins, like the vintage pumpkins or jack or um, ghosts. Or I can't remember. But then I know we get to the uh, baking stuff and they had um, a whole bunch of different types of cookie cutters. One I think had like um, a witch's hat, um, maybe like Frankenstein and a ghost. There was a couple different size cookie cutters, like three different sets. Um, and I, I know there was also um, a bunch of different like sprinkle sets. They were in these like little skull jars. So they had some of those. There was also a bunch of the different spatulas. Um, they had some that were like flat and then they had some that were like scoopers. Um, um, those are super cute. I got one of the scooper ones last year and I really, really like it. And I actually got a couple of those um, today as well. Let me show you the ones I got. I'll do a quick little haul. I got the little ghost scooper because these are all, I think, 30% off. And then I got just the spatula that's the witch hat creeping it real those were cute um dish towels a lot of them are selling out but um they still had the same ones they're not new then we get to the jewelry stuff i was super excited to see this as someone who 
loves to make jewelry. <laughs> um, but they had so, so much. So I'll just kind of pan over the section and show you guys because there was several, several sets of like dangly earrings pre-made. Some there were like a skeleton hand. Some there were full skeleton bodies. There was some different uh, witch hat with little jack-o'-lantern danglies. Um, a bunch of like sets of studs. And then they also had some different like hair bows or some scrunchies. There were also some that were like little um, headbands. Um, there was also one that had like, you know, like the costumey like witch hat on it, the tiny witch hat. So they had all those different ones. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Oh, and I also, I forgot to get video of it because I think I just got really excited by it and it was right at the very end. But they had a whole bunch of those like boxes that are meant for storing items. So I actually got the witch one. So I thought this was super cute, especially the channel's name is Enchanted Basin and I wanted to like start keeping, um, like storing some stuff for the channel in the box. So um, I thought it was a cute, a cute little moment for the channel. <laughs> um, I'll show you a couple of the other things I did get. I bought the little orange and black headband. Oh my gosh, this was just super cute. Um, I love a little, I mean, you can tell I'm wearing a bandana with a little bow. So like, this is super my style. Um, I did get one of these towels and it was a little expensive, but still it was on sale and I did have an extra coupon I was able to use. It was like $10 off my total price. So I was able to use that to help. But again, you know, I love this silhouette. I and mean, I've been needing a couple more Halloween towels. I'm actually, when we go to Marshall's, um, I'm actually going to really look at them because I might get a set or two. I also got, got all the different little sets of like studs and there's a couple little danglies. I really like these. I thought for like my upper two, um, sometimes I put little danglies, sometimes I do studs. So I thought this would be a fun way to like add a couple of spookiness <laughs> to that little area when I'm wearing like my bigger earrings. I also got these little charms. Um, these are just really pretty and very like classical, kind of kind of like Halloween goth. I really like it. I thought I could put it on some sort of necklace or just a little chain and make like little chokers out of them. So very, very cute. And again, these were all 40% off. So I feel like pretty good deal um, if you're gonna use them. Like I know some, I, I absolutely will. So if you're a jewelry person or a crafter or maybe for gifts, these are super cute ideas. And then I did also get the little charm bracelet. This is a little jack-o'-lantern. There's a little ghost, spider web, um, vampire teeth, coffin. I wish there was like a little witch hat. I honestly might add like a little witch hat charm to it because I'm sure I have some in my, my jewelry stash. But I think this is really cute. Um, and for the price, it ended up being like, I think $5, $5.50. So for a cute little Halloween bracelet that seems decent quality and it's adjustable. This is also adjustable. You can see it's got the little lobster claw. So like fits many sizes. I think this is cute. I'm actually going to put it on now. But anyway, so next we're going to head to um, Marshall's and the Michaels. And then we'll check back in uh, after that. Oh, okay everyone, loud, I'm warm. Let's go over everything we saw at Marshall's. But I did see, um, the first thing were these really adorable plates. It was a set of four plates. Um, there was one that has like, I think a black cat, one that's a pumpkin, four plates, but two of the same thing, if that makes sense. Um, but they were kind of like vintage-y style. Very, very cute. Um, we saw there's a table that had a whole bunch of gnomes. Um, a bunch of pumpkins. There's, I know there was like maybe three or four varieties of gnomes. There's another little shelf that had some skeletons. There was like three skeletons sitting next to each other. They were like the um, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil kind of thing, I think. And then we get over to the bedding and um, for sheets. So I saw two peanut sets. One that I think was like a gray um, with uh, Snoopy with a jack-o'-lantern. Um, maybe some ghost. Um, the other one was like a dark navy that was again Snoopy with the jack-o'-lantern. And then there was the Ray Dunn set that I saw yesterday. The skeletons with the black cats and then it says spooky. So I wanted to show you guys that since I didn't, uh, forgot to get video yesterday of that. They also had some sets that were like, I think they were meant for, like they were a twin size. I absolutely adored them. They had like, um, like pumpkins on um, a van so it seemed more like fall like but there was also like black hats and gravestones and 
um, just several different designs on it. There was two different sets. They were all the ones that I followed that were all twin size. But man, if they had been in like a queen size, I would have purchased because they were so, so cute. They had, um, there was this wreath that was like the, all the little ornament balls kind of thing. Um, and then I think it had like a spider web design in the center. Um, and maybe some spider webs around the edge. I think it said like boo. There were, um, oh, some pajamas designed that I think was like a Ray Dawn one. It says like witch please. Two designs of Charlie Brown and like the great pumpkin ones. Uh, at least the gray ones. They were meant for like family, like matching pajama kind of thing. Then we go over to um, Michael's. It was part of like, um, they had this dollhouse, this black dollhouse. Um, they were meant to put like, they had little, I don't know, like a little bathroom thing, a little, um, all these different little characters you could put inside the dollhouse. There was a couple different shelves inside of it. They also, there was like a spooky tree. Um, there was even something to go around it, it looked like, for probably like the spooky town stuff. And then there's some clear crystal balls, which I feel like you can make like a, a spooky terranium kind of thing. I thought that was cool. And there was more of the spooky town stuff, um, like little witches, um, little brooms, um, cauldrons, all sorts of little characters that were really cute. And there were a couple different of the actual spooky houses. There was one that was this really dark spooky house that was cool. Um, there was another one that I think had the witch out front maybe with like a cauldron or something. Um, and then there was um, a jack-o'-lantern that had the mouth really, really wide open. So it seemed like you could probably make like a tiny spooky house inside the mouth. That was, that was cool. Um, I did get the actual dollhouse. I'm not going to use it as a dollhouse. But I saw somebody in the Halloween Forever Facebook group. They used it in their vanity to hold like lotions and stuff. And that's such a cute idea. So I'm doing that and I had a coupon for that as well. The um, last thing I saw was in some of like their paper craft. They had several like um, scrapbooking paper books. Um, there was one that was like this witchy design with moths and um, just like dark poison kind of designs. Um, there was also um, one that was more like traditional Halloween kind of stuff. Um, both of those were large books. And then there was a, a smaller version of that they had like ghosts, pumpkins, bats, all that in the traditional like orange, white, and black colors. Um, and then there was another book that like I tried flipping through it to show you guys, but it was like x-ray stuff. So I think that was super cool. Like I could see it for scrapbooking, but also like maybe like put some of that stuff in frames and hang it and make it like your own little x-ray wall decor. I think that would be a super fun craft. Um, then there was a bunch of different types of stickers. Some were like very like crystal designs. So there was like some bats, um, skulls, um, jack o' lanterns. There was also just like small regular stickers for like scrapbooking or different crafts or that kind of thing. Um, so I think that was all I saw at Michael's. If there's anything, um, I will keep you know rolling footage and whatnot. But I'm pretty sure that was it. So, um, I'm going to see how long this video is. Big lots, I think I'm going to hold off again just one more week. I really want to, you know, actually find enough when I go. And also, uh, it's too hot right now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope, um, you know, let me know what your favorite thing we saw today is or in this whole video. Um, is there something you're still looking out for? I know um, I'm still on the hunt. There's these jack-o'-lanterns on little pedestals from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. So, I'm still, and they have little witch hats on them. They look really pretty. Um, so I'm hoping to get two of those if I can find them. Um, and of course, always, you know, more blankets because blankets. But um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you're doing wonderful and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye my spooky friends.